Hello YouTube, I'm Rare Man here, and today I'm coming at you guys with a video on my rifle, the Mosin Nagant Type 53 variant. This is just an overview and sort of review and in-depth details of this gun, and yeah, let's get into this. During the Korean War, China needed an effective rifle that they could use in combat, so they looked to the north, Russia that is. Russia was in production of the SKS at the time and didn't exactly want to give the blueprints to that. So they gave out the schematics for the M44 carbine, and China used those schematics to create the Type 53, named Type 53 because it began production in 1953, and it's just a clone of the M44 carbine made famous by the Russians. The Type 53 featured a flip-up bayonet, much like the M44. To open it, it's spring-loaded. You just pull up on that bracket and flip it over, and it locks onto the barrel. There is a common misconception that this rifle isn't any good because it's Chinese. That's not the case. It's just that it was made more and didn't see as much combat as the M44. So the M44 is a lot more rare than this one is. So this one here is you can find it more commonly. People suspect that it's not as good or anything. It is still a very nice high quality rifle. It's just not as rare so it's not worth quite as much. This rifle fires a 762 by 54 millimeter Russian round. As you can see on screen here, it's a 30 caliber round 762, but it's very cheap compared to most rounds of this size and power. It's not all that more expensive than a 22. But as you can obviously see, this round is much, much bigger and more powerful than a 22. These rifles can be had for not much more than 150 to 200 dollars, which you cannot physically beat. The ammo for these rounds is, you know, about $8 for 20 shells, which is very affordable compared to your 22 long rifle, which you can't find, which 22 long rifle is still cheaper yet, that is true, but when you're going from 40 grains to 180 grains, you know, you've got a, you got a bit of a difference there. But you can pick these up. If you can get one for under $200, it is completely worth it, and I recommend 100% that you buy it. Like I said, the Chinese made this rifle. It is very high quality. People just don't like them because they feel that it's lower quality, even though it's not. It, people think that it's just a clone of an M44, which is true, but they think because it's a clone, that means it's not as good as the original. I wouldn't say it's worse than the original, I wouldn't say it's better than the original. There are two kind of different guns, but for the money's difference, I would say if you could find a Type 53 in good condition, pick it up and just go with it. They're they're very fun to shoot, very cheap to shoot, and overall they're just very nice rifles. Stay tuned for my next episode of Guns when I'm going to be shooting this rifle. And just let me know what other guns you guys would like me to see, or would like to see. I can maybe get my hands on them and show it to you guys. But anyway, thank you all for watching. It's been I'm Ray Man. Please remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and peace!